Hello, eighth grade. Welcome back. We are jumping into lesson 14 today. We're going to analyze the purpose and motives for expressing information as well as the advantages and disadvantages of using different mediums, just like we've been doing all along. So you're, you're going to analyze cases of conflicting information again, too. So you're going to get some more practice with that skill. But first, we are going to do our entrance ticket. So you need to watch this video twice. Your teacher has the link, read labels. And then you're going to stop after you've watched through twice and you're going to answer the questions. And then you'll come back to me once you've finished and we'll kind of talk about it. Before you come back to me, I want you to share it with at least one partner. So go ahead and pause the video and begin working on this now. All right, guys. So you were supposed to watch um, read labels, the video, and then you had some questions to answer. So number one, ask what is Nadine Burke's purpose for creating this video to inform or to convince and explain your thinking with evidence in the space below. So um, I don't know if this was this question for you guys, a multiple choice. So Nadine's purpose is to inform viewers about the importance of reading food labels. She hopes that people take charge of what they put into their bodies and have information to make healthy choices. So obviously your responses are going to vary, but I'm going to read you a model response. Nadine Burke's purpose is to inform viewers about the importance of reading food labels. She hopes that people take charge of what they put into their bodies and have information to make healthy choices. Or you might have said something like Nadine Burke's purpose is to convince readers to read labels before they buy any food as a way to eat healthily. She also suggested if sugar is among the first five ingredients, then you shouldn't buy that particular food item. The last question was, what is her motive for creating this video and explain your thinking with evidence? So again, um, your answers are going to be different, but here's a model example. Nadine Burke's motive may be social. She hopes that the information she shares will positively impact others' health and ultimately have a positive impact on society. All right, guys. So I've got a couple questions that I want you guys to think, pair, share through. So what purpose did you identify and why? And then Nadine Burke is a pediatrician. So why does it make sense for the producers of this video to have a pediatrician deliver this message? So think, pair, share. And hopefully your teacher can walk the room and you guys can have some discussion based on this. Go ahead and pause the video and come back to me when you're finished. All right, guys, so let's look at our learning targets for today. Hopefully you guys were able to have some really good conversation. Hopefully you learned that a pediatrician is a doctor for small children. So that has a big impact, right, on why she might deliver a message like this. So let's look at our learning targets. I can identify advantages and disadvantages of using different mediums to present information about local sustainable food. I can analyze two texts that provide conflicting information on local sustainable food and identify where they disagree on matters of fact or interpretation. I can identify possible purposes and motives for presenting information on local sustainable food and provide an example of each. Okay, it's quite a task we have before us. So, I want you guys to go back to this analyze different mediums um, anchor chart. And then I, I want you guys to turn and talk through these two questions. So what mediums have we discussed as, as we have reread sections of the Omnivore's Dilemma and explored new texts? And then what mediums are most helpful to you as a learner when you're analyzing information or learning about the topic? So go ahead and pause the video now. Your teacher can walk the room and then come back to me when you're finished. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys had some really good conversation. Um, I am going to ask now that you go to um, this, find this in your workbooks. I think it's on page 158. And I'm going to ask that you read Food Miles and Jet Setting Carrots, okay? And then I will tell you what we're going to do. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is not in your student workbook. This is in the Omnivore's Dilemma, turning to page 158, Read aloud the section called Food Miles and Jet Setting Carrots, okay? Uh, your teacher can read with you however you guys want to do that. And then talk about the meaning of food miles, okay? And then um, we're going to come back together and I'll tell you what we're going to do from there, okay? All right, guys, go ahead, pause the video. Come back to me when you're finished. Okay, guys, so now I want you to review pages 168 through 161 and pages 211 through 214. And then I want you to work to answer these selected response questions, okay? Make sure you guys have access to the link nourishlife.org, all right? Um, and then I want you guys, after you've done all the reading, to play this video, what you can do. You might benefit from playing it through twice, okay? 
And then again, once you've done both of those things, work to answer these selected response questions. You guys can turn and talk with a partner to work through this and then come back to me once you are finished. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at this anchor, or, um, I'm sorry, this um, worksheet in your workbooks and go through the answers together. So the first thing says, after reading the section titled Food Miles and Jet Setting Carrots, um, capture your definition of food miles in the space below. So this was supposed to be done before you looked it up, right? So food miles are the distance food travels from where it was grown to the place it is sold, okay? All right, number two says, reread re re and refer to the printed text sections and infographics on pages 158 through 161, and then on pages 211 through 214 to answer the following questions. Number two says, what is the author's purpose for writing the section titled Food Miles and Jet Setting Carrots? You should have chosen A, to inform readers of the distance their food travels from the farms their local store. Number three says, what can you infer about the motive behind the section titled Food Miles and Jet Setting Carrots? You should have said, A, the motive is environmental because the author hopes to inform readers about the term food miles and the distance food may travel before reaching a consumer. Number four says, what is one advantage of presenting the material on pages 158 through 160 in printed text? You should have said, D, it provides details and context for the reader about the sustainability of organic food. Number five says, what is one disadvantage to presenting the material on pages 158 through 160 in printed text? You should have said, D, it does not provide any visually captivating elements that engage the reader with the topic of the sustainability of organic food. Number six asks, what is the purpose of showing the infographic on page 212? You should have said, A, to inform the reader about the distance food from Polyface Farm travels. Number seven asks, what can you infer about the motive behind the infographic on page 212? You should have said, C, the motive is environmental because Michael Pollan hopes to convince consumers to buy local, therefore lessening their use of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, excuse me. Number eight asks you to watch the video, what you can do. What is the purpose of the information presented in the video? Choose all that apply. You should have said A, B, and D. Number nine says, what can you infer about the motive behind the presentation of this video? You should have said B, the motive is social because Bryant Terry lays out three steps that he believes would benefit the health of individuals and communities in society. Keyword society there. And lastly, number 10 says, what is one advantage of presenting the material through a video? You should have said B, the viewer can return to the material in the video multiple times to get a full understanding. All right, guys, we're going to close out here for today. If your teacher feels that they need to review anything with you all, then that may be done um, during this time. But we are going to close out today and I will see you guys again very soon.